It doesn't take long to set up a mobile outdoor cinema in the village of Vratnica. By contrast, efforts to establish a new national park here in North Macedonia have been dragging on for decades. Vratnica lies at the foot of the Shar Planina mountain range. Frozina Pandurska is a conservation activist based in the capital, Skopje. She and her friends have come here to screen a short film about Shar Planina. She wants to win over the people living here to her cause. There are problems to address. Trash is one of them. Quite a few villagers show up for the screening. Pandurska and her colleagues organized it under the auspices of the NGO Friends of Shar, where they work. They weren't sure local people would in fact be interested. Pandurska, who is a journalist, says conservation does not top the list of her country's priorities. But she contends that with enough popular support, it should be possible to do more to protect this beautiful mountainous area. After the screening, the activists and local people talk about their concerns. Villagers have been struggling for five years to prevent the construction of a hydropower plant nearby. They challenge the Friends of Shah, asking why they haven't been helping them. They said the NGO should engage more with the people who actually live here. There are many villages in the region facing similar problems. Shar Planina measures 80 kilometers by 30. Over the past two decades, threats to this scenic wilderness have been mounting. Shar Planina is the mountain range with the greatest biodiversity in North Macedonia, and it must be protected to the highest degree. If it is declared a national park, it will be accorded the most protection, even across national borders. Shar Planina lies near what was once the Iron Curtain. The ribbon of land and some areas nearby have been designated the European Green Belt by an association of the same name. Its mission is to protect the natural landscapes there, which had been shielded for decades from major developments such as farming and construction. The association promotes ecotourism. Renovating mountain huts and building new ones should entice more hikers to come and explore. The association also seeks to counter illegal logging, which is a serious problem here. The timber mafia has carved this track through the forest without permission. It extends for several kilometers. An SUV blocks the path. Behind it, heavy equipment. They're often armed, and it would not be wise to go any further with a camera rolling. The conservationists monitor changes in the forest with the help of an app and satellite imagery. Jovan Bozinovsky is a mountain guide and also active in Friends of Shar. He says the timber thieves sometimes fell trees and they just leave them lying around in the forest. Shepherds are natural allies of the conservationists as they have a vital interest in preserving the forests and meadows and keeping an eye on illegal logging. The Friends of Shar platform emphasizes the importance of monitoring. Nasser Jemaili is a sheep farmer. He used to take visitors on hikes until the pandemic hit. On the terrain up here, four-wheel drive vehicles are of no use. Friends of Shar see great potential in gentle tourism. Nasser Jemaili and his brother have 5,000 sheep. The used milk cheese they make is famous throughout the region. Their entire business depends on the preservation of the natural habitat. I would totally welcome a national park in Shah Planina. That's why I support the initiative. Nasser Jemaili and his brother inherited the farm from their parents and have since expanded its operations. They employ 25 shepherds. During the season, they spend two weeks at a time up in the mountains, living in huts like this. 
The only source of power here are small solar panels, enough to light the huts. With a new hydropower plant, that would change, a shepherd explains. It would be good. Then our little villages would finally have electricity. Mm. These small hydropower plants are promoted as a green air energy mm -hmm. and good for people, but uh, in, um, in reality, they, they distract the ecosystem of the mm -hmm. rivers. The conservationists promote traditional ways of life, but most people want at least a few modern conveniences. Pandorska leads us down into a valley. This is where one of the new hydro plans is to be located. The plan is to build 11 in Shar Planina. Not everybody in the villages of Shar Planina is concerned about protecting the environment and finding an alternative to improvised rubbish dumps. Construction of the hydropower plants up in the mountains is well underway. They use so much water that downstream in the valley, the water levels in the river are getting low. Parts of the Balkans still feel very remote and left behind. But even here, there seem to be more cars. Friends of Shar has several members of its team out and about in the area, including Vojslav Gushevsky. There's still a lot of work to be done, and that includes explaining the issues to people and telling them about the rules on how to behave in a national park. It now looks as if the Shar Planina National Park will finally be established next year. On paper, that is. But that is at least a start. <laughs>